once we started to realize the opportunity, the type of, uh, the opportunity was huge. And then just to kind of like the other products that were on the market, I was like, I feel like we could do this. I feel like we could do this really, really well. And it was a conversation of me and my boyfriend kind of together. We've always worked really, really well together. Our skill sets just mesh very well. And uh, so he was totally fine. He's always been super cool and confident uh, in our relationship. And we've always had a really cool, honest dynamic. So he was super supportive out of the gate. And he was like, hey, cool, you know, rock it, try it out. And yeah, so just... I think within like the first month, it was mostly just like a, hey, how far do we want to take this? What am I comfortable with? Um, do I want to show face or not? Because initially I started with not showing any kind of face. So it was like just like neck down type of thing. Um, and then we were like, we ran out scenarios of like, well, do we care? Do we care if family finds out? Do we care if this affects the future opportunities? You know, things like that. So within like that first month, we kind of made a lot of those decisions and and nine months later, we had the most liked account. So I think we scaled pretty quickly. <laughs> so. Wow. Yeah. I mean, that's like, I just want to say, though, how incredibly important it is that you guys did have that discussion discussion, and you really thought about all of the outcomes, because I do feel that sometimes people get into, you know, I mean, porn specifically, but even like OnlyFans, and they don't think about all of those things, you know, no. like everybody always thinks, mm -hmm, everybody always thinks like their family won't find out or their friends won't find out. Yeah. And uh yeah. You just have to have to accept, you know, like there's a lot of wonderful things about doing OnlyFans or, you know, selling nudes online or doing it, like any type of sex work. Um, but there's yeah. also, you know, there's the downsides. Do so you have to like decide is what the works right for fit? You. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Like what I think you have to take a look at what are your life goals? Who do you have in your life? What's important to you and make the best call for yourself? I don't think there's like a one size fits all. I, I liked the opportunity that we had because it was whatever world that you wanted to create on your OnlyFans page is your world. You set your own boundaries, your rules, everything. And you're the one that can change them too. If you're like, you're like, I want to try this out. Not my thing. I'll go over here. So that's what I really liked about it. And then the fact that we could run it as a business and I could take the time to make like good art, basically. Like I mm -hmm. could feel good and engage with people. And that was what made me happy. And <sighs> Yeah, I think a lot of it came down to like, I had a really good support system. Like I knew that ultimately I had my boyfriend that was what was going to make me happy and secure. And so if, as long as I had that, I was okay. Like everything else is going to be just fine. But I know not, it's not necessarily everybody's situation, but we have that dialogue where we can kind of have those conversations and decide things together and then kind of execute from there. Yeah, I was actually going to ask you if um, the fact that you like had a partner that you felt comfortable with and you felt like a solid relationship with, if that really, yeah. you know, influenced you to make the decision that you made. Because obviously, yeah. like dating is hard for people who get into, you know, any kind of like online sex work or, or whatnot. Oh, for sure. Finding yeah. somebody after the fact is usually pretty difficult. Yeah, I mean, we have like a lot of my friends, some of them are in relationships and they do OnlyFans with their partner. Some of them are single and they're still kind of still mingling around. And definitely I've seen kind of like all sides of it where there's different people that I interact with and they'll be like, oh, that's cool. That's totally fine. And other people are like, oh, I won't I won't come near you type of thing. So to each their own, all that. But definitely, like you said, if, if you're not already kind of in an established relationship and things are kind of that works for the both of you, I can see it being a little bit of a a harder thing than most people they don't they don't expect that out of the gate like hey i just met you and this is what i do <laughs> so yeah 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 totally so you guys do you guys do scenes together yeah we did a ton uh a ton together and then we've kind of always had like this fun open relationship and we kind of give each other as long as there's if everyone's open honest safe that type of thing um we have the same parameters for each other so that's kind of like uh a long-standing thing that we've had and then just really it really uh, was allowed. It really allowed us to kind of make the most of this opportunity too, where we could have a really great time and a fun moment, and you know, get to know other people really cool, really cool people, and just really interact with them in like a nice moment and share that. Then also with like our fan base, but then come back together and know that like that's extra special too. So 